What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back for another video. I wanted to come and have a serious conversation with you guys today and talk to you guys a little bit about how I survive. Survival of the fittest out here in this motherfucker. I feel like this is an important conversation for us to have um, as women in general. Um, a lot of people are ashamed of using the system or needing the system or ashamed to admit it. Eating candy with a cash. And frankly, I'm just tired of people trying to make me feel bad about it or make me feel a certain type of way about it because it is what it is at the end of the day. So here we go. So basically, bottom line, what I'm trying to say is the girl has had it all. If you feel a need to call me names or whatever, I'm opening the floor for that. Go ahead. But one thing that you can never call me is a mother who did not give a shit about her kids. A mother who would not sign up for every assistance, every free giveaway, every, 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 just to make sure her kids had what they needed, okay? And at that time I was getting no help from child support, no help from no any outside people, just me and my kids, you know? So I did what I had to do. I don't apologize for it. I've said this before in the past and I never will. There's not a damn thing anybody could say on this planet to make me feel inferior or bad. People are going to have their own opinions about things like this. I did what I thought was right at the time and I had to learn the hard way. You have to figure out how to make it. And at the time, that was my way how to make it. The process with welfare is a really funny one. People don't understand. I just about got into an argument with somebody commenting on one of my old, old videos, which inspired me to create a new version of this video. And that video is called Government Checks. I'll link it somewhere up above. And I talked about the same type of situation. And people still have questions and I don't understand how much more basic I can possibly make it, but I'm going to try to break it down. The biggest thing that I get on a regular basis is I don't understand how you can survive without it. And those people who say things like that don't abs don't really know how the system is set up to work. Let me just give you guys a brief overview, okay? If I walk into um, a human services and say, I have children and I need cash assistance, I need welfare, they're going to say, okay, they're going to look at all of my income and that's including child support that's including anything my husband makes or if you're if you're by yourself just let's just say you're by yourself and you don't have another partner if you get any anything any type of assistance social security whatever if you have anything if you have a dime to your name they want to know about it and if you get anything you're so easily disqualified that you know it's not even worth applying. Say you go in and you're just like, I have nothing. I have no job, I have no income, nothing coming in, no child support, whatever. A majority of people don't walk in with six, seven, eight kids. But let's say you walk in and you have four kids, okay? It's different for every state, it's different for every county. They're not going to give you what Jim Bob and Sarah Marie make are enough to compare to what an average person would need to clothe themselves, clothe their children, feed themselves, feed their children, help out with bills and things like that. They give you what they can allot for your family based off of a number of different things. Government funding, tax dollars, whatever, you know, a lot of different things go into it. But basically, they break it down by household size. If you have X amount of kids, you get X amount of dollars. There is no difference. Ages of your kids don't matter, you know, this and that. You can walk in with 10 kids and only be able to get $700 because you only get a certain amount per, per household and that's just the way that it is. I'm talking about a month. I'm not talking about a week. I'm not talking about every two weeks. I'm talking about a month. You're not able to work. If you make anything over what you would get per month from them, so if you make $501 a month and they only allow you to have $500, you will be denied. And if you're on it, you will be cut off. When people say to me, you, there's no way you could be surviving without it. There's no way you could be surviving without it. It's like, you don't really understand how the system works. I think, I think people have it in their mind that welfare is some type of payday. And it's really just the government trying to help just with a, little, a small portion of your expenses. And it's a catch 22. What they do is they give you just a bare minimum to barely survive. And you'll still probably still have to figure out how to make it through the rest of the month. And then they say you can't work 
And if you work, we're gonna cut it. Everybody knows when you first start a job, you're broke. And then if you don't have TANF and they take your childcare assistance, then you're stuck paying full daycare out of pocket and you just started a job and you're behind on all your bills and blah, 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 you know what I mean? You know how it is when you start a new job and you've been off work, you know? And then you already didn't have enough so you're already in the negative and then you just start a new job and you gotta go two, sometimes two, three weeks before you get your first paycheck. It's just, sometimes they transition you off and they'll let you keep your childcare assistance while you work and they don't just cut you off. They also don't let you get your child support when you're getting it. So if you get welfare, that's all you're getting, honey. You're not gonna get child support. You're not gonna get nothing. You can't have nothing, can't do nothing. All you can do is live off of welfare. That's all they want you to do. You gotta get it all or you gotta get none of it, okay? It's just all or nothing. It's really hard, okay? It's really hard. And so my biggest thing is it's not a fix-all it's just a fucking band-aid and that shit is going to come off like it's gonna either be ripped off by them or you're gonna have to rip that shit off basically my, my advice to people young women or just women in general who are wondering if that's the route they should go or how to get off of it it's a mental thing you have to mentally prepare yourself to to just go get go to find another avenue it's really hard to walk out of guaranteed money and walk into the unknown but at the same time it's going to be for the better in the, at the end of the day basically that's what it is it's, it's not it's not it's not all kisses and hugs and roses and yeah i get to sit back and get three thousand dollars a month and i get to go shopping and pay all my bills and just sit back and relax i'm living the life no that's not how welfare is welfare is a struggle people on welfare are not happy about it the system cannot afford me and i say that not to be bougie and not to be whatever try to brag i don't know whatever you might however you might misconstrue that i don't say it to be any of those things i say it because it's the truth because i can make five hundred dollars in a day because that's the mentality that I have. Well, I think some people who don't have that go get it, go out there and make it type mentality are the people that are welfare queens, are the people who are not gonna be able to do, ever do anything but live off the system, but that just wasn't me. So I, you know, I take personal offense when people try to come after me like that and be like, da, 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 cause it's like, I don't, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I'm not ashamed. You see what I'm saying? Because I did what I felt like I needed to do for my children. And as a mother, we make sacrifices. And like I said earlier, that's just a, a sacrifice I'm gonna have to take. And that's an ill, as you may say, I'm gonna have to take. I don't need it. I have learned how to survive and make an income from my computer, from my phone, from my camera, from my house. And I don't have to leave. I don't have to go work a nine to five. I can, I might, if I decide. If I want some more money or whatever, if I find a really good career opportunity or whatever. But um, right now, at this moment, point in my life, I don't have to and that's where I wanna be. It took me a long time, a lot of struggle, a lot of sleepless nights to get here, but I'm here. Like I said, the system cannot afford me is a blanket term I use because I want everybody to understand, no, the system cannot afford me. $500 is unacceptable for me. $600 is unacceptable for me when I can make thousands a month just using my mind, just using my talent, my God-given talent. I'm not gonna settle for less. And that's just my thoughts on I mean, we can get, we can go deeper into this, y'all, and we can be talking for hours about the man and conspiracies and all this other stuff that you can get into about how people try to, you know, um, keep African American women in a box and, you know, all that other stuff. We can get, we can go there. We can get into it, you all. But I'm not gonna do that today, okay? I ain't got time for all that today. I'm basically just saying, I make more money putting my own ideas out than and, and working for myself from home and doing different side hustles and different things to um, come up with it to make it to make to make it now I might work harder and longer than an, a person who has a nine to five and all of mine is not credited because you guys don't see that or I can't I can't show you a paycheck stub for that but every move that I make is a money move and not every move that I make is something that is on social media I have a lot of different streams of income right now and I do different things online it all adds up you know what I'm saying um, off of YouTube now I make thousands so that really helps it's about 
choosing to live your life one way or the other. If you want to work a nine to five, do that. That's not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. That is just, we all want to be, we all want to live the dream, but not everybody is meant to do that. Some people need guidance. Some people need structure. Some people, some, sometimes people need to leave the house and go to a job, clock in, work that job, clock out and then go home. Um, but that's just not the type of person that I am. I need flexibility. I knew this after Kaya, after I got pregnant with the twins, I knew I was going to need to do something different because I went from three to five real fast. And so I knew that I was going to need to be able to stay home and have flexible schedules. I can't tell you guys how many times I cried because I couldn't, I couldn't work a full-time job that I needed to work and be there to pick my kids up at the end of the day because my school, my job, didn't let me off until 5.30 and my kids got out of school at 3 or 2.30. You see what I'm saying? And then trying to find somebody who can pick my kids up and keep them for an hour, hour and a half, two hours until I can get off of work and drive to get them. It was stressful and, and tiring and I got tired of being mad and I got tired of being upset. All this other stuff I had to go through and then I said, you know what, I'm tired of it. I'm gonna do something else. I gotta figure out something else. I wanna work, gotta work, can't live without it. I can't live off the system because number one, it's not enough, and number two, I'm tired. Everything I do makes money. You just have to think of something. People reach out to me all the time. They say, I wanna stay home, I just had a baby, or I'm having a baby, or I'm struggling, and I'm trying to figure it out. How do you do it? And I really wish there was something I could tell you guys, like a fix all pill, like go just do this and it'll fix all your problems. But I really can't tell you that because I don't know what will work for you and you know what kind of hustle mentality you're gonna have. I am a hustler. And not in a bad way like I'm gonna hustle you out your money or something like that and be sly and slick. It's just I manifest money in my life. So I don't know, sometimes I don't know where it's coming from. I just will wake up and have a deposit or you know and I'm not just saying that I'm just out here living and winging it I do have you know bills I have a plan I have guaranteed income and stuff like that but you know things just I feel like money just finds me and that's just the type of person that I am I'm positive when I think about it and I just that just keeps me going I've been doing it for years now if there was a young woman watching me right now and she was confused and lost and didn't know where to go and she was on the system and was struggling like I was I would tell her it's okay, use the system, don't let the system use you. And when I say that, I mean, use it for when you need to use it, get up on your feet, make sure that your babies have what they need, but have a plan. Don't put yourself in a position to where they take it from you. I want you to be in a position to give it back. So that when you walk away, you're ready, you don't have any regrets and you're good. It's not about appearances, it's not about what people think, it's about doing what you have to do so that your babies can, can look back on this in 20 years and say, mama did that. And I don't even know how half the time, but she did that. And because of that, I'm here and I'm better. That's my goal. I don't know about y'all, but that's my goal, okay? And it about living this, this, this life that people try to make it seem like I'm trying to live, like I'm flaunting and like I'm doing something. Y'all, I've had this shirt for probably four or five years, okay? I don't care about what I look like or what I have because I'm gonna make it happen with nothing, okay? These are leggings, all right? Leggings, y'all wanna know about this wrap? Hit me up later, I saw this in a viral Facebook video. I don't know if you know about that. If you saw that one, put a hit a like down below, okay? But I saw that, I said, girl, that is supposed to be funny, but I was like, no, seriously? That's a good ass idea, and it was, girl. Okay, look, I'm trying to tell you all, don't sleep on me, okay? Don't worry about me, it's not me that I'm doing this for, you know, it's for them. Because I'm gonna have my day, honey, because I'm only 28, by the time my kids are grown, I'm still gonna have a little left, okay? And that's when I'm gonna splurge on me, all right? Right now, let's get these kids raised and make sure they have a great quality of life. So say what you want about me, you see what I'm saying? The system is, it's there if you need it. Use it for what you need to use it for, but don't make it your last, don't make that your last stop in life. Find something that you really love doing and then make that into a business if you love doing hair boom business and sometimes it's something that you're already doing but you could just be doing on your own maybe you work for a lawn and garden service you can start your own lawn and garden service nobody told you you had to work for jim bobs you can start your own you know what i mean put a couple flyers out get a couple rent a couple lawnmowers or buy a couple lawnmowers or whatever and hey that's a job you know what i mean it's income how do you think people start these businesses you think that they just wait for somebody to knock on their door and say hey i think you should start this business no they start off working for somebody else and say hey i'm gonna do my own thing it's not cheap and it ain't easy 
but it's possible. And that's what people need to understand. I don't feel like I have to sit here and pull out a portfolio of everything I do for you guys. Just understand my reasoning behind not living off of government assistance. You can do it, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Now, my babies are small. I don't have teenagers yet. Um, so I'm sure my expenses will go up then. But at this point in time, my babies are 10 and under, so life is okay. You know, we can get by without having to buy super, super expensive stuff, even though they're getting there to that age where they're asking for stuff like that. When they do get there, I'll redo this video and tell you guys how I'm doing it then. But right now, we're good. You know, we're in our own little, we're in our own little groove. And I'm gonna hustle every day to make sure that they have what they need. And I'd rather it be that way than somebody to give me, tell me what I'm allowed to have. I'd rather just go get what I need. You know what I'm saying? Go get what you need, girl. So let this be an encouragement for the people that need to hear it. Go get what you need in life. Go get that money. Manifest it into your life. Speak, speak positively about it. Even if you're down and out, even if you have no idea where it's coming from, pray on it, write down plans about it, and you just gotta go and get it, okay? No excuses, just do it, make it happen, because you can, you can do it, okay? It's not gonna be easy, not every day is gonna be a great day, but if you plan, stay faithful to it, keep speaking positively about it, you will change your life. I cannot tell you how much I've changed my life just thinking positively about money, okay? Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope this answered some of y'all questions and you know, encouraged the people who needed to hear this. If you have any personal um, stories you wanna drop down below, whatever, you know I always love to hear from you guys, so please drop those down below in the comments. I absolutely love you all. Thank you for watching this long ass vlog. I'll see y'all next video.